Welcome to today's lesson where we will explore the fascinating world of mathematical language and symbols. These are the building blocks of mathematics, enabling us to communicate complex ideas with precision and clarity. Symbols in mathematics are not just shorthand for lengthy expressions. They are fundamental to the discipline, representing operations, relationships, and abstract concepts. Just like any language, mathematics has its own vocabulary and grammar. Understanding this language is crucial for solving problems and conveying mathematical ideas. In this lesson, we will discuss the characteristics of mathematical language, the role of symbols, and how to translate words into mathematical expressions. Mathematical language is precise, allowing us to express ideas without ambiguity. Every symbol and operation has a specific meaning that contributes to the overall clarity. Mathematics is also concise. It allows us to communicate complex ideas efficiently, often using fewer symbols and words than would be required in ordinary language. The power of mathematical language lies in its ability to simplify and generalize concepts, making it easier to work with complex ideas in a structured way. These characteristics make mathematical language an essential tool not only in pure mathematics but also in fields like physics, engineering, and economics. In mathematical language, numbers function as nouns, representing objects or quantities. For example, in the expression 3 plus 2, the numbers 3 and 2 are the nouns. Operation symbols like plus, minus, multiplication, and division act as connectives, linking numbers or expressions to form meaningful mathematical statements. Relation symbols such as equals, less than, greater than, approximately equal to, function as verbs in mathematical sentences. They compare quantities or expressions, completing the statement. For instance, in the sentence, 3 plus 2 equals 5, the numbers 3 and 2 are nouns, the plus is the connective, and equals is the verb. Just like any language, mathematics has its own vocabulary. This includes numbers, symbols, and operations that represent specific concepts. Mathematical sentences are combinations of these vocabulary elements that express a complete thought, such as equations or inequalities. Consider the expression 3x plus 2. Here, 3x and 2 are terms that form part of a larger mathematical sentence. An example of a mathematical sentence would be 3x plus 2 equals 5, which states a complete thought that can be evaluated as true or false. A strong grasp of mathematical language is essential for comprehension. It allows students to understand and engage with the subject matter effectively. Proficiency in mathematical language is vital for both teachers and students. It enables clear communication of complex ideas and facilitates learning. Mathematical language allows for precise and unambiguous communication of concepts, which is critical in both academic and professional settings. Mastering this language not only helps in solving problems but also in developing logical thinking and analytical skills. Expressions are names given to objects of interest in mathematics, such as 3x, 5 pi, or 2 plus 3. These are analogous to nouns in a sentence. Sentences in mathematics combine expressions to form a complete thought. These can be evaluated as true or false, like 3 plus 2 equals 5. For example, 3x plus 2 is an expression representing a mathematical idea, but it doesn't convey a complete thought by itself. However, when we say 3x plus 2 equals 5, we form a sentence that states a relationship between expressions, which can be tested or solved. Connectives in mathematics, such as plus, minus, or multiplied by, link numbers or expressions together to form compound objects or statements. In English, words like and serve a similar purpose. For example, cat and dog is a compound noun just as 1 plus 2 is a compound number. Consider the mathematical sentence, 1 plus 2 equals 3. Here, plus connects the numbers 1 and 2 to form the new number 3, while equals compares this sum to 3. Recognizing and using connectives correctly is essential for constructing and interpreting mathematical sentences. A mathematical expression like 4 minus 5, or 5 plus 2, represents a specific quantity or idea. These expressions are the subjects in mathematical language. A mathematical sentence, such as 5 plus 2 equals the square root of 49, 
combines expressions and can be evaluated as true or false. In this case, the sentence is true. Symbols like plus and equals play specific roles in these sentences, connecting expressions and indicating relationships. In the sentence, 5 plus 2 equals 7, 5 plus 2 is the expression, plus is the connective, and equals serves as the verb, creating a complete mathematical thought. In mathematics, symbols like union and intersection represent operations on sets. Understanding these symbols is crucial for set theory. Symbols such as element of and subset denote relationships between elements and sets, allowing us to describe and analyze mathematical structures. Logic symbols like and for conjunction or or for disjunction are used to form logical statements that are foundational in mathematical reasoning. For instance, a union B represents the union of sets A and B, while X is an element of A means that X is an element of set A. Basic operations like addition, plus, and subtraction, minus, are fundamental in mathematics, representing the combination and separation of quantities. The multiplication sign, multiplied by, indicates repeated addition, such as 4 multiplied by 3, which equals 12. In advanced contexts, it also represents scalar products. Division, divided by, splits a quantity into equal parts, such as 10 divided by 5, which equals 2. It's the inverse operation of multiplication. For example, 3 plus 2 equals 5, uses these basic symbols to represent a simple mathematical relationship that is universally understood. Equals, is the equality symbol, indicating that two expressions represent the same value, such as in, 5 equals 5. Not equal, represents inequality, showing that two expressions are not equal, as in, 3 is not equal to 4. Greater than, and, less than, denote that one quantity is greater than or less than another, respectively. For example, 10 is greater than 5, means 10 is greater than 5. In, 3 plus 2 is greater than 4, the symbol, greater than, indicates that the sum of 3 and 2 is greater than 4, a true statement. No, represents the set of natural numbers, starting from 0 and continuing infinitely, like, 0, 1, 2, 3, ellipsis. Z, denotes the set of all integers, including negative numbers, 0, and positive numbers, such as, ellipsis, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, ellipsis. Q, represents the set of rational numbers, which can be expressed as fractions like, 1 half, or, negative 3 fourths. For example, the number, 2 thirds, is a rational number, meaning it belongs to the set Q. In problem solving, translating verbal phrases into mathematical expressions and equations is a key skill. Mathematics allows us to model real-world situations and solve problems by converting words into symbols. To translate, identify the quantities and operations described, then express them mathematically. For instance, the phrase, twice a number plus 3, can be translated into the expression, 2 times x plus 3. Mathematical symbols are used in various fields, from engineering to economics, to model and solve problems. Understanding the context in which these symbols are used is crucial for applying them correctly. For example, the symbol, element of, might be used in a computer algorithm to check if an item belongs to a particular set. Recognizing and correctly applying these symbols is fundamental to mathematical literacy and problem solving. In summary, we have explored the precise, concise, and powerful nature of mathematical language. We discussed how numbers, operation symbols, and relation symbols play specific roles in mathematical sentences. We also looked at important symbols used in sets, logic, operations, and relationships. Remember, mastering mathematical language and symbols is essential for understanding and solving mathematical problems. Thank you for watching this video on math and PhilTech TV. We hope you found it informative and engaging. If you enjoyed the content, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update and share this video with your friends and fellow learners. Your support helps us continue to create great content. See you in the next video.